drone on duty. Welcome back to Venice. It's nighttime after a nice day of rain. Quite a lot of rain, off and on. Um, but it didn't really matter much to me <laughs> because uh, uh, I was working all day. Um, in fact, I uh, had a bit of a work emergency late last night um, just as I was going to bed, um, which can be disheartening. <laughs> Um, but I had to stay up because a whole bunch of websites were down and you know one of those things right all got settled no problem but it did mean having to stay up really really late um, really early for them um, but late for me um, speaking of which it's so late <laughs> the bells are ringing right um, but uh, you know that's what they say uh, uh, a good day of remote working in Venice is better than a bad day at home uh, in boring town, right? <laughs> and I don't, I don't mean to make fun. Um, that's kind of a shout out because uh, um, ever since my sister came um, and uh, she, uh, she really enjoyed uh, the architecture, in particular the doors. And she was taking a lot of pictures and videos of doors and very impressive. And, has been since uh, suggesting that home is boring, boring Dorville. I think that's it. And uh, she even reached out to me today asking me how I was doing because, you know, I'm getting near the end of my trip. And uh, she was a little concerned that I was getting down because I was on my way to boring door town. <laughs> so that was really nice. Um, oh, while I'm here, I should probably talk about these table looking things here. So I also managed to figure out what these, what I thought were tables <laughs> were all about. Um, they're normally, you will see them on um, uh, like off to the side in places and in big piles. And I've been seeing them all over the city, including places that they're really inconveniently put placed. Um, like there's an alleyway that's you know only so big and yet they've got these things just sitting there um, And I always thought that was so weird to like it take up so much space and everybody's got to walk around them and all that kind of stuff And like put them away somewhere or something, but these are this is a platform You may have seen that from my uh, my, vi uh, my pictures last night. These are platforms uh, for when it floods They put them out when it rains and as you can see um, I'm in the St. Marco's uh, Piazza, and uh, basically it goes from this end over here all the way to the other side so that people can cross the plaza without, uh, without having to walk in the, in the flood water. And I noticed it a couple of times today as well because they haven't put them away yet because it rained again today, um, but uh, in the lower areas. Um, just by some of the canals or whatever, you'll see these up now. And so, yeah, um, I thought it, when I first saw them in action, I thought it was weird that people were just like jumping on top and just kind of trusting that they were okay. Um, but that's what they're there for. So just now you know. But anyway, still managed to get out today. Um, a long work day um, in between, but managed to get off out to a little, a tiny little palace that has this wicked spiral staircase. Um, and it's only about four floors, um, but uh, you do get to go up, up top and there's some pretty cool views of the city. And uh, yeah, that was fun. Uh, and then I managed to uh, find that Banksy, um, also fun. Um, what's that joke? You know, if I had a nickel for every Banksy I found on my trips here, I'd only have two nickels, but it still seems like a lot. <laughs> so uh, I have some pictures of that too, but very cool. You know, I love that kind of stuff. Uh, and I finally, I finally uh, uh, rode a gondola, gondola today. Um, not the typical one, of course, but um, the uh, the ferry ones, um, the traghetto which is, which literally means in between cities or uh, neighborhoods. And um, uh, it was kind of neat. I had no idea how to, how to do it. 
Um, I followed uh, some Google instructions and Google doesn't seem to, uh, like Google Maps, sorry. It doesn't seem to distinguish the difference between um, a alleyway and taking one of these ferries. So when I was blindly <laughs> trying to find my way uh, with my Google Maps instructions, it just sent me to one of these uh, traguetos and, uh, and I was kind of like sitting there going, oh, can I pay for that now? Is it okay? How many people get on one of those things? Um, well, the answers to those questions are, uh, you can fit about 10 people in there, plus two gondoliers, uh, one in the front, one in the back. It, because they go on the, on the Grand Canal, um, they wind up pulling in this way, and then coming out, turning around, and then pulling in, and then the opposite, right? Um, and they have to do that, that turn in, in pretty strong waves and everything, but they're stable, stable boats. But it's just so much easier with a, a front person and, a, and a, um, a rear person, and they're, you know, they're really good at it. And it was kind of fun. Um, it was a very short trip. The second answer is yes, you can pay for them on the spot. It's two euros. You just hand it to the guy. And uh, worked out quite efficiently, you know. So that got me to the Banksy, yeah, which was really cool. I got some photos of that, um, and then I wound up, um, you know, heading home. But otherwise, a, a decent day. I mean, work was tough. Um, that seemed to go on forever. And <laughs> um, but again, I mean, it wasn't a big deal because it was raining. You know. Oh, I should mention too. Uh, so today is the day that things are. Are not going perfect like super duper perfect right just like mildly perfect um, last night in a weird coincidence after doing a whole big video of um, about uh, um, about taking night photos with my tripod uh, my tripod wound up breaking and uh, just as a weird coincidence um, I managed to walk past a, a camera store um, and uh, noticed that they had tripods on sale and <laughs> I was like oh okay so I went and I got a new tripod um, it wasn't money I wanted to spend um, but it was less money than I <laughs> I might have otherwise <laughs> which was kind of cool um, and then uh, yeah I was having computer problems and that's why that's probably why things uh, uh, like that video got cut off it just um, I don't know what happened computers right um, so yeah now I, I have to spend some time this weekend uh, um, like finishing fixing the computer but uh, um, not tomorrow tomorrow I'm just going to uh, I'm on a little trip I'm heading out to a very uh, um, very interesting location um, I guess I'll tell you about it tomorrow um, but I'm heading out of town uh, so, um, hopefully, it doesn't rain on my my ride back, or my walk back. But uh, I think I'm. Uh, I think after today's tough day, I deserve a pizza. Somebody else is going to cook for me today, so I'm going to go do that. Um, I hope everyone out there is doing well. Uh, I certainly am here in Venice, gorgeous, gorgeous Venice, and uh, you know. The small problems happening are um, nothing, nothing when it boils down to it, being able to hang out in this city. So I will talk to everyone tomorrow. Or a domani. Arrivederci. Ciao.